How's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to do a short little video talking about a few things at the golf course here, a couple of the policies, some of the cart rules, and also a few things to help keep the golf course in really good shape. So when you arrive at the golf course, we do want to ask you to make sure you do have your shirts tucked in, and if you can remind your guests to tuck their shirts in, we would appreciate it, and also have your hats turned around forward. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep the course in good shape with repairing ball marks and replacing divots or filling the divots with the dirt and also how to, where to park the cart and where to take the cart when you're driving on the golf course in order to keep the course in spectacular shape and reduce the wear and tear from all the carts driving on the grass. So one of the most important things in order to keep the golf course in great shape and help out the superintendent is we need you guys to make sure you fix your ball marks. So never be afraid to fix yours and one or two others. It's only going to help the condition of the greens. So I'm going to come over and look at my ball mark. I just want to talk real quickly about the proper way to fix a ball mark. So you can see my mark here on the green. If we go ahead and zoom in, you want to make sure that you start on the edges and you push in. So you're pushing the grass back to the center of the ball mark. Then you can tap it down. It's going to come out really looking really good. You don't want to take the ball mark underneath and push up because what that does is it rips the roots. So you want to make sure you always push back to the center. If you end up pushing up, you're going to get brown marks on the green because the root structure gets ripped. So proper way, push towards the middle. It's really going to make sure the condition of the green stay in great shape throughout the whole season. So remember, after hitting a shot from the fairway, it's really important to keep the course in good shape is to make sure we replace our divots. If it's a big divot that you can put back in, you can go grab it and replace it. If it explodes or it's a small divot, in the cart we got the, the bucket. You want to go ahead and put enough dirt in there just to make it nice and level. And it's real good soil. So basically what that's going to do is the root structure is still there underneath the, underneath the ground. It's going to germinate in about 7 to 10 days and hopefully cover that right in where you don't even know it was there. So remember, replace the divot if you got a nice big one. If it explodes, just make sure you go ahead and take some dirt, put it in there. Cart path only days. Before you walk out to your ball, go ahead and take the scoop and take a little dirt with you. That way you have something to replace your divot with. So when you arrive at the first tee, you're going to notice there's a sign here. It's going to let you know what the cart rules are for the day. If it's 90 degrees with the carts or just some cart restrictions out there on some of the holes. You'll also notice if it's going to be summer rules for the day or if it's going to be for fertilizing your own fairway. Now you just saw a few videos of where we'd like you to keep your carts off. So just remember around the tees, we do ask that you keep all four tires on the cart path. That's going to help the wear and tear on the grass around the tees. When you're doing 90 degrees with the carts, we do ask you to stay on the path until you get around where your golf ball is. Then you go out to your golf ball. We don't want you driving straight down the fairway. That's going to leave a lot of wear marks if everyone goes there, which makes the course not look that nice. When you get around the greens, we do ask you to return back to the cart path rather than going around the greens. So 50 yards in the green, go back on the cart path and keep all four tires. That's gonna keep the course in great shape and also the playing conditions around the greens is gonna be really good. 